All right, welcome back. Before the break, we were talking with Dr. Malore from Advent Health, and we were talking about uh, our heart health and how important it is to make sure that we're seeing uh, our regular cardiologist and, and making sure that we're keeping those wellness visits. Now I wanna welcome in Jean Gray, who is an artist and uh, who has quite the story of his own. Um, we are so thankful that he is alive and well and doing, uh, joining us today, uh, because earlier this year, that certainly was in question. Gene, thank you for joining us. Share a little bit, if you can, as quickly as you can, because we have a lot to get into this morning. <laughs> Good but your morning. story, and Good I know morning. that it starts with the family history for you and your family. Yes, uh, it does. I, I I was 47 years old. It was uh, February 10th of last year. Um, I I was mowing the lawn, and I I just I had this familiar chest pain that I've I had been dealing with and not handling properly. Uh, but I knew something was wrong. And considering my family history with my brother, who unfortunately did not make it, uh, he was 39 years old, uh, had a massive heart attack and, and, and passed away, unfortunately. But that's always in the back of your mind. So this time, something was definitely different. And I told my wife, we need to go to the hospital. Uh, I was in the hospital, found out I had, uh, I was in the middle of a heart attack. Uh, possibly have had them before, and we can, we'll probably get into that a little bit. Uh, then I found out I needed to have a quintuple bypass. Quite a shock. I, uh, yeah, I would say so. Uh, and I know you have some thank yous that you want to get out this morning because, um, I mean, seriously, this is, could be a very different story, I think, in so many different ways. I tell you, that is one of the biggest privileges that I've, I've received out of this experience mm -hmm. is having the opportunity to thank people who saved your life. So Advent Health, uh, the Pepin Family, Pepin Heart Center, uh, the Schimberg family who provided the rehab center, and uh, all of my doctors, therapists, yeah. nurses, uh, I, I, have, I don't have enough words to, to thank them enough, but yeah. thank you is the best I can do. Well, you know, it's also great that you're doing along with these thank yous is uh, it sounds like you've kind of taken this as your mission to help spread the word and help save other people's lives. Mm -hmm. And you told me this morning, there's three different things that you really wanted people um, to know. One um, was to not rely on an ER, you know, the, the ER room to, to worry about kind of make that your first stop and getting your heart checked out. Yes. See a cardiologist. If you have any type of family history or if you have any um, symptoms. I had all the classic symptoms, the pain down the chest, um, but I, I, I never went to see a cardiologist once it got serious. I went to the emergency room. The emergency room is not the place to handle these things. It's yeah. that is a place for emergencies. Um, you were also saying that cardio, you, you uh, were and still are a healthy guy. So you think that cardio and, and maintaining exercise can be very good long-term. I had a pretty severe case of coronary artery disease, which is evident by having a quintuple bypass, yeah. and then later needing a, a sixth stent as, as, <laughs> as well, as a matter of fact. So, but the, one of the things the doctor told me is that my heart was very strong, my actual heart was strong. And the only reason I'm alive is, <laughs> besides the surgery, is uh, a wonderful treatment, yeah. is the fact that I was a runner for years. So do, do some exercise, do some cardio. It'll save your life. It can save your life. Let's go ahead and bring in Dr. Uh, Malore again to, to add to this. And I know the last point you wanted to make sure was that rehab portion of it and making sure uh, that, because we talked about there can be some anxiety and, and just because the heart attack is fixed, there's still, there still has to be a plan after that, which I'm sure you agree too, doctor. Yeah, absolutely. Um, as you hit on, you know, there's anxiety and there's fear and, and that recognition that you're that you're not immortal when, when you go through something like this. And the rehab is a, is a huge component of that. You know, it's as simple as, you know, getting out there and, and, and exercising and getting your strength and your, your stamina back up. And also, since we're going through the chest, your, your range of motion. And uh, a lot of people are afraid to get up and do that and, and putting people in a, con, you know, a controlled setting where you have experts who know exactly what they're doing and what you can do sort of gives them the confidence to move past that. And I think, you know, engaging in that process really is it's key to getting past that fear. A lot of people are afraid to move wrong, do this, do that, yeah. and that gets them, it gets them through that. 
Well, we can't say it enough, Jean. Uh, we are so glad that you are here with us today. We see some of your beautiful artwork behind you. We were seeing some video of you working on it as well. And uh, doctor, thank you and your team for all that you are continuing to do. And uh, again, keep people uh, right here. So there is the info. If anybody has any questions, and again, we can't stress it enough, make sure you go to those wellness uh, visits, see your cardiologist, make sure you know your family history when you can and share that with uh, the doctors. But gentlemen, thank you both so much. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Thank you. We'll, of course, put this on our website too, so it's easy for people to find.